Hey, what's up everybody? So just wanted to bring you a quick update. Me, the raised beds that I ordered on Thursday night, due here Tuesday, actually showed up today. So I've got six raised garden beds ready to be assembled. And since last time I updated the, uh, the Liberty team, I realized, and based on the discussion I had with 81 year old gentleman who's farmed here his whole life, and was telling me about my trees in the yard. He said that I needed to, to really trim those trees back. Uh, and then I was watching another video the other day about fill for garden beds. And I knew right then that I had all the fill, organic fill material I needed right here in my yard. So I have been trimming trees this morning. And you can see here in the background that I've got all this brush available fill all over my yard now we've got some good work for the for the littles to do picking up little branches around the yard now so that once uh once i'm able to get the garden beds assembled which i'm going to start today during the heat of the day i'm going to assemble those in the shade and we've got all these different types of junk wood and mesquite wood and pecan tree wood to start putting a base in for our beds. And what I'll do is I may still use some of those piles of bricks that the gentleman told me about in order to make a base layer across the bottom of my bed so that it'll keep prevent it from sinking as bad. As you see here, more, more brush that I got. Um, and that way, uh, then I'll start putting my big logs and limbs right on top of that. And then on top of that, I'll put some sort of, well, to fill in with the small branches and whatnot from what I've cut down today. And then this here are my beds from, from Best Choice. Can you see that? Best Choice products. So these are galvanized steel raised beds, six foot long by three foot wide by two foot high. And I went with two foot high instead of three foot one because I couldn't find any three foot for sale online. And then two, it allowed for my, my little kids to be able to reach in and help out on the edges of the garden because I really want them involved with this um, with this produce and, and fruits and fruits and vegetables. That way they're gonna be more likely to eat it. Uh, which when they're eating healthier, the less I have to get sick, which takes the stress off of Jenny and I so that we can focus on being great parents, having fun as a family, and doing something productive um, with, the, with the very precious time that we've got. So that's, that's it for right now. I will come back to you soon with another update. I've got to get a hold of, of the WLE down the road and let him know that I've got the tools and equipment now and I'm ready, if he's ready, to bring his tractor and box blade down and strip out that area of grass for me. So anyhow, hope you all are doing good. You're having a great weekend, taking full advantage of the opportunity that's in front of us. As you can say, it's a beautiful 80 degree Texas sunny day here south of Houston. And that's it for now. To your liberty, heck yeah.